Yo, 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 what up, internet? That was a weird intro for me. Anyway, it feels like it's been a while since I've done any content exclusively for my YouTube channel, so I figured I'd do some of that, because it's quite nice. I mean, I've been streaming a lot lately, and my YouTube channel has just been catching the runoffs of my streams. So, I mean, I feel like I need to do some content exclusively for YouTube. I'm enjoying streaming, but, eh. I'm gonna play the ship multiplayer. I picked this up on Steam the other day for $4. So it was on sale, and I mean, it's a great game. I remember playing it years ago with my friends at an internet cafe, and we'd all sit there and just have this crazy bloodbath in the middle of this internet cafe playing the ship. And I remember that game very fondly and very vividly. I've been wanting to get it for a long time. It came up on, on sale for 4 bucks, so I was like, why not get it? But I'm gonna be playing the single player right now. Um, I feel like there's no real need to stream this, so I'll do this for YouTube. The main purpose of this video is that I also, I want to show everyone what the ship is, and because it's a crazy game and it's really fun, it's, I think it's a really underrated game, people should really go out and buy this game, it's a great game. So I want to show you the game, but also this is the single player section of the game, so I want to check it out because I've never seen it myself, and it'll give you a clue as to what the game's about. So, uh, I'll, if, <laughs> if I had to summarize this game, this game, imagine if you were playing The Sims, and you had a sim whose profession was to be an assassin. And the person that they had to kill was on a boat. So you sent that sim on their mission to kill that person on the boat. But then you had to control the sim and you had to try and kill the per their target without getting caught and kill them in a creative way. Now imagine if there were eight other or seven other people who had a sim that was an assassin and they were in exactly the same situation where their target was on a boat, but their target was you. Ooh, intrigue. All right, and so what happens on this game is usually um, there's eight people on a ship and they all have to kill a specific person on the ship, but they are also being hunted by someone else on the ship and you have to try and kill each other without, in as creative a possible way with whatever you have on hand without getting caught. It's crazy fun. It's a really fun game. I was playing it with my wife last night and we streamed it and there's a little bit of a snid bit up on my YouTube, which I mean, I guess it wasn't gameplay, but it was just a funny moment, so... I mean, we streamed for like an hour and a half, or two hours, I think, so there we go, that's one thing. But we'll definitely be streaming again tonight. If you buy it on Steam, you get a, you get, as well as the key for your own copy, you get two keys that you can give to friends, and when they give it, when they get the key and they redeem the key, they also get given one key which they can give to their friends. And I'm not entirely sure, but the way I think it might work is that when they give that key to someone, they that person that they gave it to gets a key, and that person can give it to someone else, and they get a key, and that person can give it to someone else, and they get a key. So it just builds up this massive like momentum ball, spitball thing, where it just constantly gets bigger and bigger with the amount of people. So, um, we have a few extra copies. We're going to be giving them to my friends tonight, and we're probably going to be playing this tonight. Should be really fun. We're probably going to stream it. So I'm saying tonight, and this is YouTube, so it's not going to retroactively track that. Anyway, I've been talking for a long time, so let's jump into a game. I've never played this. Uh, so we'll go with Mr. X. Welcome. Ooh, look at this guy's face. He looks a bit like Handsome Jack from Borderlands 2. Although he looks a little bit more cynical and room lighty. Excuse the sniffles, I just had a coffee and like calcium products or milk. Malt. Mr. X. Oh my gosh, it's literally Handsome Jack. I love the Hanoi masks welcome, in the back. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, one and all. Of course, he's Russian. I am Mr. X. And if you'll be good enough to listen for a moment, I can explain all the commotion. I'm afraid it seems the Northern Star has gone missing with all hands on board. <gasps> That's terrible. But what's tragic is we are thousands of miles away from our reported position. So there'll be no rescue, no help arriving. He's gonna run this There's ship into an iceberg, isn't he? And me. And the little game we're going to play. He's like a Russian version of Jigsaw. A game which will decide how you get off this ship. Look at all those potential targets. Each of you has been paired with another guest, hunter and hunted. Track down your quarry, but beware, another is tracking you. This is basically what would happen if Jigsaw took or over a ship. Die. Kill or be killed. What better sport could you wish for? Oh, I hear your whines and cries. Be silent. 
be silent. For those too weak to take the challenge, the sharks may have you. Chrome. Man, her mana level must be off the bars. But for this drop, she's rocking level 90 the magic stick. Mighty, the players, there'll be rich rewards for the champion. The rules are simple. You'll be given the name of another passenger on board and asked to kill them. But favor me a small indulgence whilst you're at it. Try and rise above the mundane of the shoot and stab. There's plenty of weaponry aboard. The money for kills table will show you what each weapon is worth to you. Take the opportunity to be an artist in the abattoir. A Ooh, Michelangelo cool of mayhem. Abattoir. I'll take my leave of you now. I'll have to try and add that to my repertoire. From time to time uh -huh. to check on your progress. It's been a long day. I advise you to get some sleep. You need to stay fit for the challenge. Oh, and one more thing. Please try and avoid killing any of my crew if you can help it. Alright, I vote we all Those band together and kill all the crew. And then we don't kill each other and then we just kill Mr. X. Although he's probably on a different boat and he's probably going to run our ice, run our asses into an iceberg if we try that. So let's not do that. What is it with people with extended jawlines like that who have a tendency to be evil? Your objectives have been updated. Talk to the bellboy. Find a weapon and kill your quarry and talk to the bellboy. Alright, so down in the bottom right corner there, that's the person I need to kill. I need to kill Mag Maggie G. Thatcher Thatcherton. That's a weird name. And that's her current location. Normally you get a previously known location. Uh, here we have a weapon. I found a golf club. It's 1580. And there's also some other stuff in here. You can dress your sim up like it's your, your sim. You can dress your character up. It's like changing disguises. And... Looks like they want me to take the golf club. All right, the golf club's worth 1580. But yeah, um, you also have to deal with your needs, like your dude will get thirsty and want to drink and stuff. Hello, lady. Ooh, I cannot gain access here. All right, I kind of want to... I'm thinking they might ease me into this, and they'll be like, no, you can only go a certain way, but I kind of want to... Hello. I just want to see how the little icon went red. That means that someone's seeing me, which means that if I try to kill anyone or even pull a weapon out... Um, they might not be too pleased. But... Oh, this is her. Hello. Let's pull out that club, and... Bang! There we go. Hey, buddy, over here. Talk to the bellboy. Alright. I don't wanna... Okay, can I... Can I loot you? Yes. No, I don't wanna sit down. Yeah, there you go. So, there's my needs going down. There's my... Boredom, or sleepy. Tiredness. It's my tiredness going down. So, this dude come from room 5? No? No? Okay. Wait, was room 5 the room I was in? It was. But yeah, you can change your disguises, which means, see how down in the bottom right corner there it says, um, cabin 6. It says that, uh, see how it's got the little icon, the little you picture frame? If you change your disguise, like people will forget what you look I like, so it'll come up as a mystery, so people have to re-identify you. It's a one-way ticket, if you know what I mean. Mr. X, he don't like no loose ends. At the end of the game, everybody dies. He's gonna run our ass into an iceberg. I knew it. I can get you out of here for a price. One hundred large buys your passage off this hell ride. Oh. But first things first, we gotta get that target off your back. Oh, that sounds like a mole. I know who's got sounds your Sounds like a mole. Game. Got red lights going She's off in my head. Dame. Looks like ding, 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 ding. Let's not trust him. Let's kill him. So let's kill him. Let's kill him. Let's kill him. You find some patsy, a, a, a fall guy. He's, he's, Inject him with a sleeping potion and follow him till he crashes. He's gonna stab me in the back. You drop me the location, I trust him. And I'll tell her that's you. Look at that she face. She whacks the sap, and you're in the clear. Why do I get the feeling he is Mr. X? Why should I kill you right now? I'll kill you. I'll kill you. Oh, Papa, Papa Cat, Papa Cat. That's not even a thing. All right, let's have a look in this wardrobe. Uh, okay, sporty plus fours. Okay, I think I already have that. Can have a look in the drawers. Just books. Just books. Ooh, Paradise Lost. I do like that book. Oh, there's a book about binary. Let's grab that. And a screwdriver. Why not? So, yeah. Apparently I have a golf club in my hand, which is only worth $790 if I get a kill with it. And a screwdriver. Let's go with the screwdriver for now. Because, I mean, it's worth more. And I don't really need to carry both of them, so... 
They're both kind of household items, so you can walk around with them pretty safely. It's not too bad. Sick Bay Corridor, Deck D, which I'm on Deck D, so... Is that this way? No. Ooh, let's not go out there. So yeah, I think this game's going to be a little bit slow to start off, but... I mean, it is a single player, so... What do you expect? Men's bathrooms? Swimming pool. I need to find the sick bay, though. So, ooh, it's a unisex bathroom. I know. Uh, okay, nothing interesting in there. Where is the sick bay? This is the promenade deck. That seems promenadising. No, no, that was terrible. Alright, so that's the staircase. I want to stay on deck D because this is where the sick bay is, apparently. And my sim person is getting tired. I have $4,000 in... Ooh, fire axe. I might actually nick that. I went, oh, yep, $2,780 for killing someone with that. And I also get the bonus of it's a lot more powerful than a screwdriver. I'm going to have to shank a bitch. All right, uh, this is looking like it might be the sick bear. Hello. Just strolling past. Don't mind. Don't pay any mind to me. What's this? Telefono. Don't need that. Wait, can I call someone to get off this hell ride? Nope. Okay, no, I can't. Ah, <sighs> he's disconnected the phones. That evil genius. Can't go through there. Can't go through there. That is the sick bay. Is that a prison? Why is there a pool table in there? Where am I going? I think I need to be somewhere around here. Oh crap, I can get stuck behind doors. You saw nothing. Uh, yeah, that's probably one of the biggest things I'm going to have is like, getting lost. There are a lot of different maps and they're all different ships and stuff that you can play on. And they can be confusing sometimes. We were playing it last night and it's the first time I've played in like years, like I said. So I did get a little bit lost when I was playing with my wife the other night, but eh, you kind of learn them after a little while. I think there's something like a good 10 or 20 maps on here, so. Alright, there's an elevator. I'm in deck C. I need to stay on deck D. The deck. Crown jewels. Hmm, interesting. What you see before you are the crown jewels of England. Rumour has it that Lord Hayward, whilst working on whilst working for Mr. X in London, hypnotized Her Majesty the Queen into handing over the jewels. During an afternoon soiree in the Royal Guard in the Royal Grounds at Windsor. Historian Mark Holmes recently described the theft as a truly perfect crime. Alright, apparently I'm thirsty. There is a vending machine around here. So this is basically Mr. X's whole way of screw you and look at everything I've done. Okay, that was weird. Uh where is the sick bay? Hey look, sick bay. Handily placed signs. Madam? Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, it's the Sims. I'm basically speaking Simlish. So, I need to get my drug on. Oops, trespassing. Let's not trespass. What's in here? Ah, Doctor. Uh, Do you happen to have a sleeping potion? Yep, he nodded. That means yes. Let's have a look around. A paddle. Okay. You paddle someone to death. Purse bomb. I'm a guy, so I don't think a purse bomb will work quite properly, but... Doctor, I bid you adieu. Unfortunately, you lied to me. Let's check out this room. Ooh, hello. Mr. Ikmoy Rolzaklka. I get the feeling that's not actually your diploma, or your name. Let's have a look around. Hey, syringe full of sleeping potion. And a colostomy bag. Let's take that. So I can poop in peace. And a Kathera, so I can pee in peace. Actually, let's take it all. You saw nothing. Nothing. All right, I do need to drink though. Do I have anything? Nope. Oh, wonder if I can. Can I pee in the bag and then recycle? I need to kill your doppelganger. I get a feeling that's also not his name, especially given doppelganger means a copy. Hmm. Yes. I think if he's going to try and copy me, he should really come up with a more original name than your doppelganger. That's just silly. Alright, so I need to... Ooh, there are cameras around. I can't inject them when there are cameras around. Unless... Where's the camera? Where's the camera at? Are you my doppelganger? You are indeed. Haha. Ha -ha. Come back here! It's fine, it's fine. Calm down, calm down, calm down. It's fine, it's fine. There's no, no cameras around. I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna kill you. Camera's on. Oh. 
Press tab to view. Talk to the bellboy. All right, where was he? Why was he three metric dicks away? Who this lady? She's not gonna try and kill me, is she? Nope, okay. I feel like I need a few sodas. Scull those down. It's reducing my drinking and my sleeping. All oh, right, it'd be caffeinated. Perfect. I do need to sleep still though. I really need to urinate as well. I can hear commotion. What's going on? Are there people trying to kill me? Pff, just dead people all over the ship. Now it all makes sense why no one pays attention to Good the dead work. bodies because we're now, all on a death ship. Get me the money and, and we're fast. all gonna die. <laughs> Should be a snap for a button man like yourself. Button man. This barge is thick with swells, high rollers with fat wallets. There's even a bank on board to keep them stacked with green. Now here's a couple of names of fellers who are looking for some muscle. Go see Bruno first and tell him Jimmy I think this is all an elaborate yeah, way to, Jimmy, for Mr. X to me, steal money off here. people. It Good makes luck, sense. Buddy. He sends people into the boat with lots of money and if they won't spend their money, he gets us to kill them all. And then we pay his bellboy, which is probably Mr. X, I am onto you. And we give him the money and then he lets us off the boat and then Mr. X gets the money because he is Mr. X. It all makes sense. I do need to sleep and I need to urinate. I need to whizzle over this biz. Have a quick have a quick nip nap. And oh wait, I can pee in a cloth in a Kethra. Yeah. Now I need to shower because I probably peed down my leg. Uh, there's swimming pools here. There's men's bathroom. Will there be showers in here? Haha, -ha, showers. Close the door. No one wants to stab me in the back while I'm in here. So yeah, the game's a little bit slow so far, but I mean, I guess it's because it is kind of like a tutorial thing where they're slowly introducing you to the game. Holy crap, it's a Tommy gun. I want that. And that cleaver is worth a bit, so I'll nick that as well. Ooh, I want to steal. Ooh, hey. Okay. What's in here? And this is... Is this a sauna? Oh, it's the swimming pool! Oh, those are the changing rooms. It all makes sense. Ah. Okay, alright. So, Bruno the Barman. Current location, Vesuvius Bar, Deck B. So I need to sit in the chair, kill my quarry, pick up the money, and pay the barman. Okay, then. So he's on Deck B, which will be two levels above me. So I need to find the staircase. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, where's my gun? In case I need it. Okay, there's just a lady walking around with a claymore. You, okay. I'm gonna avoid you, because you just seem kind of crazy, so let's go in here. This dude's asleep. Can I kill him? I kind of just want to kill him. Hey, nope. Go back to sleep. Alright. Whoa, crap. Wow, that was brutal. Okay. Don't self, avoid the lady with the claymore. Jeez. Alright, so I'm on deck C. I need to get to deck B. So, is this an elevator? Nope, this is a doorway. Hello, Mr. X. You're looking very glorious today. Staircase. There we go. Now we can go up to deck B. I assume. Vesuvius bar on deck B. So I'm looking for a bar. I found a suitcase. I'm actually going to stash some weapons in here. I don't need the screwdriver. I might actually drop that. The purse bomb is kind of cool, but I don't really need it. Short sword, cleaver, syringe. I can dump this because it's an empty syringe. I don't think I really need it. Fire axe. That is pretty damn badass. The screwdriver's worth crap all, so I'll throw the screwdriver in there. Uh, let's rearrange my inventory a little bit so I know where everything is. Colostomy bag. That thing's very important to me. Need my colostomy. Uh, yep, we'll... Yep, okay, that's rearranged enough. I have a Tommy gun. I'm set for all situations. So one is a fire axe. I should probably kill someone with a fire axe, first and foremost. I need to find a bar on this level, though. Bar, where are you? Get on my level. Namely this level. Deck B. So it's not on this side. Hmm. Ooh, I need to urinate. Ah, oh, crap. How do I... Maybe if I go around this way, those are rooms. Hey, little camera. There's more rooms. There's another camera. More rooms, more rooms, more rooms. It's a. Ooh. Hey, it's a bathroom. 
Do I need to tinkle? No, I don't. All right. Bedrooms. Nice, nice. Won't complain about that. Let's have a look in here. Ooh, can it pop? Let's grab that. Keen on that. It's always good to have these things on standby, just in case you get thirsty. And you need to, you know, just refreshen. Just freshen your tastes. Freshen your taste buds. And this is looking like a bar. Nope, this is a pool room. And I need food. Well, I'm heading to a bar, so I might as well eat. You know, knock off two targets with one... Two targets with one bird. That's exactly how the phrase goes. Two birds with one stone. So who are you? Bruno the barman. I need to kill you. Bonjour, mon ami. Bonjour. The look of one who lacks the easy money. I like easy anything. I'm a fan of easy. Plan. When I spy a rich patron at the bar throwing their money about the wink, I will be tipping you. The wink. Them to somewhere quiet then. Bish bosh! I ask no questions. You steal their wallet. Sounds pretty straightforward. Huh? But I noticed that you're rubbing that glass with a magical ah, conch. I don't think that's very Bruno. effective. You might want to try a tea I towel. I don't think you will be tricking Bruno. Oh no. Oh I no. Have you thrown into the brick. Now. Ouch. Take a seat at you want me to kill the guy, but you're going to arrest me. Thanks, wait dude. For my signal. Wait for your signal. Can I buy food? Uh, I can buy drinks, shot, pint, cocktail, wine. Yeah, I'm rolling a dough. Buy wine. Why not? Why not? Ha. Ah, uh, terrible. So this guy highballer. Is he gonna throw the money around? Come on, Mr. Bluno. Winky winky. Was that the dude? I assume that was the dude. What is this? I point you at the man, bish bosh I say. Okay, fine, fine. Find him and take his wallet. I do have a fire ox. Fire ox. Fire ox. He has gone to the battle. Axe! Let me... Oops, I didn't... I may have accidentally defecated on his body. I need his wallet. There we go. Yoink. Now we need to go pay the barman. Pay the barman for his handy services. That is the wrong accent. I believe he is French. With the bish bosh. And his magical conch. Dude. Why you not talk to me? Do I need to sit down? What's going on? Did I kill the wrong dude? Or was there more specific instructions that I did not pay attention to? Let's dance. That'll solve all our problems. <laughs> Seriously, dude. Where do I give the money? Can I... Oh, give money... Minimum amount, medium amount, or maximum amount? How much money did I pick up? I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Examine him. This is a barman. He serves drinks at the bar, and you can chat to him. Well, that's nice. I'll give him two hundred fifty dollars. What is this little guy? Are you trying to give Bruno the Hey, don't point that magical that conch at me. Should be fine. You think I am the man who is stupid? I you're think stealing from me. Get out! I think you are a Frenchman. Bruno's bar. I am Bruno, and you are barred. Ah, Bruno's bar. Barred from Bruno's bar by Bruno. Ah, uh, I failed. Okay. Well, note to self, that does have a fail criteria. Do I have everything in my bag? Yes, I do. All right, now I need to find my shenanigans all the way back to where I, I need to mosey on over to where I came from. I also need to urinate a lot. That is fine, because I do know where there is a bathroom. There is indeed a bathroom somewhere. Notably, somewhere around here. Room three. Ooh, fancy. Can't get in there. Ooh, I can get in there. And this leads out to here. Swag. All right. This is the way I went, I believe. Ah, oh, I'm going to urinate all over Bruno's face. A jerk. So I'm still on deck C. I need to get up to deck B. Hey, bathroom! Perfect. Should really take care of these needs more often. <laughs> Can I wash my hands? Will that... Ah, oh, yes, I don't have to take a shower. Perfect. Now, uh, I need to get... There's the bank. Hello. Oh, it's you, good chap. I murdered you a few seconds ago. All right. 
Now, I need to find a way to get up to the second level. Hmm. Ah, there we go. There's a staircase. Perfect. I was talking to someone the other night on my stream who was... I think she's actually subscribed to the channel now. So, hi, Titanium. So, I was talking to her and she said she's only played the single player. So, I think I might have to at some point ask her when it picks up because it's a little bit slow at this point. It gets chaotic and crazy if you just play... You can play against bots in the multiplayer and it just gets turns into this crazy bloodbath with everyone kind of running around killing everyone. So, that's really fun. But I, this actually has a bit more of a story than I was expecting. Like, I remember when I first originally played it, I believe it was about four years ago now, maybe? And there was only multiplayer, as far as I know. And I didn't think they could implement single player in any kind of meaningful way, but I guess they kind of have done it. Hey, here I am. Alright, so, Bruno the Barman. Can I skip your chat? No, I can't. Oh, I have to sit through this all again? There we go, he's got the magic conch, but he does not have a glass. Oh no, there we go. Magic conch, but magic conch versus glass. Virtues versus, let's try that again. Now I'm just going to examine my surroundings. Look at that little box over to the right of the screen saying Cammy Lamb. Bish Bosh. Beat him to death with a magic conch. Alright, this time, notice how much money he pays me so I don't get banned, barred from Bruno's bar by Bruno. That's the last thing I want. Okay, so he did warn me, but I was too busy talking. Sit at the end of the bar. I will sit at the end of the bar. And now this friendly chap is going to come along. Look, he hasn't really done anything. He's not throwing his money around. He's just like, hmm, yes, I would like a shot of your finest cognac. And then I'll get up and get to the bish bosh. I feel really bad for doing this. It feels like racial stereotyping. Just kill the only black man in the establishment. Although I guess my first target was a woman. Hello, camera. He's gone to the bathroom for the bish bosh. Now let me do this properly. I need to get the pun done properly. I need to ask you a question! There we go. Alright, now where's his wallet? Ah, there it is. For a second there, I thought his wallet went down the toilet. That would have been really problematic. So, I picked up a lot of money. Screw it, we'll just... Oh, wait, no, I had $240 before I started this. I probably should have paid attention. So, I think he had $1,000. So, Bruno, as much as I hate you, I'm going to give you the $1,000. Formidable! Formidable! For the job! For the job. Screw care. you, Bruno. i serve you up another victim... Too sweet. Too sweet. I have no idea what that means. I know sweet is a room. Is he going to give me the wink on this lady? She does have a very nice dress. She does have a very, very nice dress. There's all those chopsticks in her hair. Oh, there's the wink. Hey, hey. That's very seductual. That's very seducing and very kind of... Now, what should I do? Which is worth the most? Let's poison her. Why not? If I go in here, she's in the library. Colonel Mustard in the library with a syringe! Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> or I could miss, you know. Whatever. It's fine, lady. It's fine. Just your booster shot. It's... Whoa! What's going on there? What? She kind of... I think I possessed her. I think she's been possessed by demons. Colonel Mustard with a syringe in the library. Alright, let's get out of here. Let's head back to Bruno the Barsman. The Barsman? Bruno the Barman. Barman. Once again, 1240, so I think I have to give him $1,000. As much as I dislike that. Uh... Formidable! Formidable! I knew you were the one for the job! What if that's the origin of the word formidable? I serve you up another victim. Too sweet. Seriously, if I'm giving you all the money, what am I getting out of this? You're just like... Fulfilling my raging bloodlust. Hey. Seriously, if everyone in this bar has a lot of money, you can give me the wink for everyone. Why not just like close your eyes for a few seconds and let me just butcher everyone in the bar? And then you can just take all the money. I'm sure it'll be fine. We can just drag their bodies out back. Take it to the cafe or to like the restaurant and they can serve mystery meat pies. It'll be fine. Alright, what do I have this time? Uh. 
Well, I guess my fire axe is still my most highest paying weapon, so... Then again, I kind of want to throw a purse bomb at her. So if we go like this, and then we close the door. Nope. That works. Okay. Whatever. Madam. I'm not trespassing. And I wouldn't recommend going into that bathroom. Okay? Don't go in there. I'm just going to sit here and watch you pee. Now I'm going to leave. I feel creepy. Let's go back to Bruno, the barsman. I wonder if I can give him 750. I'd really hate for that to, like, fail the mission. Oh, I don't want to risk that. Screw it, I'll just give him a full thousand. Formidable! I'm gonna get really tired of hearing that. Please don't tell me you're gonna do the toot sweet. Ah. Okay, from the look of it, there's only one other person in the bar, and that's that patron sitting over there, so I might only have to do this once or twice more. I do need food, though, Bruno. I mean, I've levied, like, $3,000 your way. Do you think you could at least get me a bag of, like, Lay's potato chips or something? Some Doritos. Come on. Next time I come back, I want something. Now, I have a screwdriver and an axe. They are both worth the same amount of money, so I might as well just go... Need to ask you a question! There we go. So many terrible puns to be made. What about pull cues? What are they worth? 2140 But they've only got two damage, so it's not really worth it. You heard nothing. You're next. Bruno, my friend. Let's give you some money. I'm getting really sick of hearing that already. And here we go, the last victim. Seriously, Bruno, you m if you knew that everyone here kind of has that much money, you might as well have just let me butcher the entire place. I mean, I had a purse bomb. You could just throw a purse bomb down and see how many of them go for it. And if any of them are greedy enough, we'll just send them out to their deaths. Hello. What are you doing, madam? Let's try and not that creepy. Creepy in the sense of what I was doing last time, which was staring at you and going, you're next. But this time, it's going to be a little bit inconspicuous. Yeah, normally you have to be inconspicuous, but I mean, I guess as far as this game goes, they're just requiring that you don't be in the view of cameras. If you're actually playing with other people, or when you're playing against bots, if there are two witnesses minimum, then... Oop, you saw nothing. If there are two witnesses minimum, then um, you immediately get arrested. And also... I need to ask you a question! And also... Um, you also have a little bit of craziness when you're playing with other people because when you're playing with actual people, they can get suspicious. If you're constantly following them around and staring at them and every time they turn around if you're in a secluded area and you have an axe out, people do get suspicious. And you do you are rewarded for killing your murderer or the person who's trying to kill you. So there's always something fun to think of. I wonder if I can get away with giving this guy like a crap amount of money, but... Hey, I can give him 500! Oh my gosh, I wish I had known that. Enough, my greedy little friend. Leflix. The guards Le are getting suspicious. Hello. What was that? It was nothing. Hey. Don't body search me. I do not have an axe and a colostomy bag and a screwdriver. I guess the screwdriver's not too bad. Hello, Bruno. The fence. Santorini restaurant. Oh, there's a restaurant somewhere around here. Let's go get some chow. Let's get my grub on. I need some food. All right. Need to find the restaurant. Is there like a map I can open up? Oh, money for kill. Nice. Tells you how much it get. Theoretically. Well, here's a kitchen. Nice. So the restaurant should be somewhere around here. There's the restaurant. Restaurant. Uh, three? Okay. What does that do? Ah, three course banquet. Two course meal or a snack. Let's go for a three course meal. I'm actually pretty hungry. Get my grub on. Uh, did that? Yep, that worked. Okay. So, you, sir, the fence. Do I need to be talking to you? Talk to the fence. Pick up the helmet. Give the fence the helmet. Steal him. Oh, crap. Hello. I need to sleep soon. I hear you're looking to make some money. Look at that face. I'd That's like a face only a mother could love. On King Mescalamdug's helmet. King Mescalamdug. No scholar of Sumerian antiquities, you, I see. No. It's Sorry, sir. The finest gold. Sorry, sir. The most magnificent the mere helmet you could ever feast your eyes on. It's being transported in the cargo hold. There's a guard. But it should be short work for a ruffian such as yourself. Ruffian? Ruffian? 
Like how you refer to me with such disdain. Raffian. I need to sleep, poop, pee, and read. I could probably poo, pee, and read all at the same time, but I don't think the game will let me. Need to find a place to evacuate my bowels. Where can I go in the sink? Can I... Let's make a turd sandwich. Or... No? Okay. Here's a pantry. It's a very empty pantry. Not to mention there's no door. So anyone could just waltz in here and steal all their flour. Now there was a bathroom. Ah, oh, the bathroom's over there. That's right. Now that I've just finished murdering like four people in the bathroom, I'm going to go use them. Madam. What if... Uh, ooh, he's not here. Someone's very good at cleaning up the bodies. I do have books in my inventory. There we go. Let's read Paradise Lost. It's a good book. Good book. Alright, I'm starting to smell, so I could probably use a bit of a clean up. So I'm just wash my hands a lot. I mean, that's the equivalent of a shower, right? Spray on some deodorant a little bit later on. Just freshen up in the bathroom, just put a little bit of water on my hands, splash it under my armpits. Be fine. Alright, so I need to be on deck B, which is down. Aliu! What if I can die from fall damage? No? Okay. Alright, so. Cargo hold, deck B. This is the museum on deck D. This is the museum on deck D. Uh, staff only. I need to pick up the helmet. Would that be in here? Let's close the door. No. Nothing in here. Whoa, crap. Ah! There we go. Bet you weren't expecting that. No? Okay. What did I just... Did I crowbar? Where'd that crowbar come from? Hey! Helmet! Yoink! Give the fence the helmet. That sounds like a really weird sentence. Monsieur Fence, I need to Pangea. And I need to go up to level D. No, I need to go to deck B. So we'll go B. I dream of genie was the first thing that came into my head. <gasps> Can we do karaoke? I want to do karaoke. And Mr. Fence, we'll talk to you. Do I have to sit down? Fence. Oh wait, yeah, fair, God, I have to do that. Do Give item. It. Excellent. Slip, Slip it down to me under, under the table, and I'll pay you well. Better pay me damn well. I think I have to give that stupid bar hop a hundred thousand dollars. Bar hop. Bartender. No. Bellhop. Bellhop. I was halfway there. Steal it for me. Rembrandt. Whoa. The captain's well secured with guards and cameras. Uh, that's fine. You'll I have an axe. Disguise to slip in. Now leave me. I want to buff my helmet. <laughs> sure, you do whatever you want. Don't tell me about it. All right, pick up the rim. Steal and wear a guard uniform. Where can I pick that up from? Mail changing room, deck D. All right, it's time to take the quick the quick way down. Which would be the elevator, not jumping down the center like an idiot. Eee! Eee! At least the elevators in this game aren't too slow. It's not like stupid Mass Effect where it takes like an hour and a half to get down the damn elevator. Try searching the lockers near the pool. Alright, so the pool was, if I remember correctly, Correcto Mundo. Not that way, it was this way. Let's see if I. Is it? Is that the SS Titanic? Mauna Loa, sister ship of the Cotopaxi, designed and built by celebrated marine engineer Duncan Blair. I name my ships after volcanoes because volcanoes are beautiful, powerful, and enigmatic, just like my ships. Duncan Blair 26, 2006. So yeah, this is an old game. I think the 2006 thing actually is like roughly win this game. I'm not sure, I can't be entirely sure. Alright, well there's the sick bay. I believe the sick bay is where I need to be. I feel like I really do need a map of this ship. Wait, I think there might be a map. Let me check the settings. Keyboard. Uh, hot item. Hot item. Primary attack. Use context sensitive. Uh, holster and unholster weapon. Drop active weapon. Uh, show scoreboard. Show money for kills. Show inventory. Deck plan. That would be what it is. So that's P. Uh, yeah, that's almost useless. Alright, so here I am. And there is my objective. Okay, so I need to go through that doorway there, and then through more doorways, through more doorways. Okay, so if I'm if I keep going the way I'm going, and 
we go out here. Oh, I wish I had known about this so long ago. I think I need to take a quick snooze too. There's somewhere I can snooze. I go through here. I can hear commotion. Have you seen this person? Wanted in connection with a series of heists at designer menswear store Marco Graza. The assailant is said to be armed and very stylish. I'm sure. Alright, arg. Argan. Let's go to sleep. Let's have a quick little snooze. Quick little nip nap. Sleep everything off. I feel like I should deposit that money too. I have $3,000 cash on me at the moment. It's a little bit cray. Someone's cleaning up the bodies. My goodness. Great googly moogly. Alright. I am there. Oh wait, no, that was my last known location? What? Okay, so if I go through here... And it should be somewhere in here? Somewhere? Hey, there we go. Perfect. And all this other stuff. Hmm. I'm gonna grab that syringe. It's always fun poisoning people. That sounds incredibly cynical. Wow. Alright. Let's drop the disguise. Drop my old stuff. Don't wanna wear that stuff anymore. Actually, I probably should keep... Never mind. It's gone. Okay. Alrighty. I wonder if I can walk around with a baton now that I'm a police officer. Could be kind of badass. Kukri! Oh my gosh. I want it. What do I have? I dropped the screwdriver. The screwdriver's kind of useless. I dropped it the first time, but I think I got, like, it took it away from me. Took my baby away. <laughs> if anyone arrests me or anything, I'm walking around with two lots of pills, a book about binary, and a colostomy bag and a caterer. Someone's going to be a little bit freaked out by the fact that I've done that. Presidential cabin, captain's cabin, one deck B is where I need to be hidden for the Rembrandt painting. Is there an elevator somewhere around here that I can use to quickly get around? Ow. Probably is. I probably took the most roundabout way to get there. I think my needs are pretty good. Uh, don't know why I did that. Press the button. I'm just a guard. Doing my duty. So yeah, normally the game's more about killing people, but I mean, this is the single player, so they probably do have to have a little bit of a story, so it feels like you're doing something worthwhile, but seriously, multiplayer, it's crazy. It's much, much, much more friendly, fun if you have friends, but I mean, it's equally enjoyable if you're playing with the bots. The bots have a tendency to do really weird stuff, but not weird stuff in, like, they're bugging out sort of a way. They're weird stuff is in, like, they act like humans and they act suspicious, which is actually really cool. Yeah. yeah, I'm just a guard. Yeah, you're on duty. Okay. What was that? That was nothing. Go away. You heard nothing. Hey, dude. Can I talk to you? No. Okay. So there's a Rembrandt painting up in here. Is this a presidential cabin? No, this is not. This is a library. I do not want to learn things, I want to steal things. I think the presidential cabin is this one over here. Getting all prepared for Titanic up in here. Look, that's not going to get the amount of people that there are on this boat off. Then again, I guess for this cruise line I have only seen like five other people, so... Yoink! No one will know. I wonder if I can... What else is in here? Deodorant? I'll grab that. Truncheon, I could probably grab that because I am a security guard. I wonder if it'll let me. I don't want to break the game. Or I don't want to get arrested straight away just because I tried to grab something that I shouldn't have. Uh, books. Mail cap. I'm actually going to nick that because I don't want to wear security guard for outfit forever. Farmer outfit, that's kind of useless to me. He has the Kama Sutra in here and a pool cue. And woman's clothes. I, I don't think I really want to know. Uh, ooh, purse bomb. Glasses. I will nick those. So far, I will be a security guard with a beret and glasses. Sounds pretty legit. Hello. Why? Hey, don't look so intimidating. I am a guard. Just like you. Oh, there's my, hey, it duplicated the screwdriver and the syringe because I had a screwdriver in my inventory already. After aforementioned things. Now, where's the restaurant? How do I, re how do I restaurante? 
somewhere around here. This is deck B, so should be somewhere around here. Stuff only. Ooh, can I get in there? Hello. You and you. Come here. I want to talk to you. I want to examine your shindigs. Look at this dude. This dude's loaded with swag. Look at that. Look at that hat. That hat reaches to the skies. It's a testament to his dreams and his aspirations, as well as his wealth. Only rich men can wear hats that tall. Alright, well, I'm back on deck C. I need to get back on deck B. Go find that fence in the Santorini restaurant. Don't know where the heck I find them. Where? Where, oh, where could my fancy be? He's in the Santorini. I need to find it so I'll open my map. So I can find my fancy and get rid of this Rembrandt. Adam. Alrighty. Slide it to you under the table. For you again, I see. My question is, how did I manage to fit a painting in my bag? You have a knack for thievery. Ah, uh, video game final physics. Request may be a little rich even for your blood. The holy grail is held upon this very boat. Seriously, it's a boat My where Mr. X has hijacked it and requested the we all kill each other. Is. So why has he got precious valuables on the boat which he's the getting Again, which people are stealing and selling to other people so that we can pay our way off the boat? I don't understand what's going on. Alright, I need to go find the bank manager. Uh, get codes from the bank manager, pick up the holy grail, and give the grail, the fence, the holy grail. Hint, beat him up a little to make him talk. What do I have that can beat him up without absolutely slaughtering him? I have nothing. I have a purse bomb. <laughs> yep, I have absolutely nothing that I can use to beat him up a little. I think everything I have will kill him outright. Yep, okay. Well, we're going to deck C so I can uh, soften up this fool a little bit. Let's take the elevator. Nope, nope. I want to go to deck C. Beep. This is our elevator song. Been listening to Jesse Cox too much. All right, Paul Vors. I wouldn't even. Okay, I tried it. Too late. Can't take that back. Alright, GM. Alright, so I need. Ooh, I need to visit a bank. That's good because I have $8,000 in cash, apparently. Marco Graza, this is where the handsomely dressed man was stealing things and killing people. And he was not handsomely dressed. That's Can atrocious. Yeah, they're all horrible. Let's not buy anything from here. Can I? No? Okay. Uh, bank. There we go. Let's deposit all that cash. All that moolah. Got so damn much of it. Can I deposit it? Hey, there we go. Deposit all cash. There we go. I think that cost me one dollar. Uh, ooh, pin. Try and steal the... See, now I'm just turning into a bit of a kleptomaniac. I'm just trying to lift everything. Alright, so. Bank manager's office. There is apparently a back way in through there. So, should I try that? Or shall I just ham fist my way in? Hello, I'm a security guard. Oh yeah, I'm a security guard. What am I? Security guard things. Beating people to death. Trojans. Uh, and that is where I need to be, I believe. No, I need to be in there. Let's not get arrested for doing strange things. Who are you? You're not supposed to be in here. Here we go. Security. Oh. <laughs> Beat him up a little to soften him up. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty, that didn't really work out as intended, but I guess I did kind of just go all Crocodile Dundee on him. 8 a.m. Thursday, don't forget to smile in that location. I need a drink. Ooh, I do have... No, I don't have soda, damn it. I need a drink and a bev. Alright, so the Holy Grail is in here, I assume. Yep, there's the cup. What other stuff is in here? Nothing? No? Cabinets? Okay, files? No, nothing. You cannot see through barred doors, can you? 
You're a useless security guard. Maybe it's that hat. That hat is covering your eyes and you can't see anything properly. Not my fault. You're terrible at your job. But, oh well. If it allows me to steal holy relics, I mean, I guess I can't complain too much. Alright, let's head back up to the restaurant, get some nom-noms and hang out with the, with the fence. Did I? I didn't press the button, did I? Nope. And we need to be up on deck B. This is our not fatal song. I don't get to sing it for very long. I have no cash. I'm a moron. I put all my cash in the bank. Okay. You, sir? I'm going to pay you with the Holy Grail, and I would appreciate it if you paid me with food. You're not even Finally, eating. My You're just sitting at a pretty table with a bunch yeah. of napkins fanned out across it. Leave me now. I want to drink from the fabled cup. So you're going to sit there in a golden helmet staring at a Rembrandt painting while you drink wine from the Holy Grail. Cool. Someone's living the holy life. The holy life? I wonder how much he actually paid me, because the Holy Grail is like a million dollar relic. He paid me $10,000. Okay. You're the worst security guard ever. There was literally a murder right in front of you. This lady is standing here with what looks like a pitchfork. And you had... You know, you're not even interested. Look at that face. That's not the face of a sane person. That's the face of an insane person. But regardless, I need to eat. So I'll let you be insane in your own time, and I'm going to sit here and om nom nom. I do need to read. Let's read a book about binary. I also need to urinate and poop. This is a forbidden song. Go back down to deck B and deck D and talk to Jimmy the bellboy. I have twenty thousand dollars. That's cray. Although that dude give, did give me ten thousand dollars for. Yay, for, um, doing stuff. Where am I going? Uh, are there bathrooms somewhere around here? I feel like there should be bathrooms somewhere around here. Uh, bathrooms. Bathrooms, bathrooms, bathrooms. Nope, there are only bathrooms in certain areas. Alright, let's go quickly go poop. Need to evacuate my bowels. Makes me wonder what the time lapse kind of thing on this game is, though, because, I mean. Really, I've been poo like two or three times now. You'd think I'd have a bit more of a reliable. I'm heading in the wrong direction, aren't I? Yep, I am. Oh well, that's fine. That's cool. We'll hit this direction. Run around some corners. Get my shindig on. I believe there should be some bathrooms around here somewhere. I also need a quick nap again. I really wish there was actually a bit of a time scale so you could tell what the time is and. Look at that skybox. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Stare out at it all day. Ah, oh, it's amazing. Alright. So there is a bathroom somewhere around here. I need to poop! Alright, bathrooms. Uh, men's bathrooms. Nope. Men's changing rooms. Close enough. Where are the bathrooms? This is a swimming pool. This is a woman's bathrooms. Women's changing shower, shower, shower. Rinse off all the gunk after we've been for a swim. There's a giant orca in the pool. I would like to try my luck at swimming, but I'm not sure if I can. Hmm. Well, I found showers, but no actual... Aloop! Yeah, I can swim, apparently. Awesome. It's good to know how to swim. It's an essential life skill. You need to make sure you know how to swim, otherwise you could end up in some really awkward predicaments. Although well, I'm about to end up in the awkward predicament of me crapping my pants, leaving a trail of yellow liquid down the hallway. But it's fine. Jimmy the Bellboy knows this. Hey buddy, it's a hazard of the job. I got another tip for you. I got a tip for you as well. It's the tip of my sword. Word is, someone snuffed his Mr. X. And he's looking for a new one. Try cabin two. Just tell him I sent you. Oh great, Jimmy the Bellboy. I'm pretty sure your name carries a lot of weight around here. On the subject of carrying a lot of weight, I need to poo. Seriously. There needs to be more bathrooms in this ship. On the Northern Star, Scotland. With that vomit patch on the wall. That's gross. Why would you do that? So I'm going to deck C. Oh, I need to go to the poop deck. That's where I need to go. Stuff only. 
I'm beginning to like this elevator mechanic. Elevators are a great invention. I think we need more elevators in life. Elevators to take us to higher places. Elevators to raise us up when we're feeling down. And toilets to evacuate our bowels. Hey look, toilet! Success! I love how I'm still dressed as a guard. There we go. And we'll go once again for the quick splashy water under the armpits. There we go. That'll clean us up a little bit. Perfect. And now we go and we talk to the ambassador. And this video is dragging on a little bit, so I think I might actually end it here. I'm kind of enjoying the single player, but I mean, there's no real point in recording too much. I might stream the last half of it, so if you really want to see how this turns out, see how I'm ending up when I'm doing all this junk, you can probably tune into my stream. And you can find the information on my actual YouTube channel. There is a button up in the top right corner on my banner, which will tell you where to go. But you're going to quickly stop in the bank and deposit $9,000 cash. Wait a second, I just realized, have I become one of the high priority targets for having a lot of money that Mr. Bruno the Barman upstairs would have killed for? I think I might be. I think I'm at risk of getting myself killed because I'm carrying too much cash. It's fine, I have no dollars on me anymore. No dollars, that's a actual term. Fight. Enter. Enter. Wow, look, you, you're just Napoleon Bonaparte, aren't you? Nah, you're the bodyguard, yeah? Yeah. But you know how to kill? Yeah, sure, I've done it like ten times now. The strong, silent type, huh? No, it's only because my microphone doesn't work with this game. I am on a vital game. mission. I must retrieve a document from an agent and radio the message to the mainland. To the mainland. There are enemies aboard this ship who mean to stop me. They have already killed Jabba no Wookie. One of my best. Jabba Misa no Safaso. Wookie. Will stop at ho 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 ho. So you must be equally ruthless. Equally ruthless. Excellent. But you cannot accompany me dressed like that. You look like a ditch digger. I am the fine the security zero. establishment of this ship. What do you want about? I can get away with it anything. I can huh? murder you, you right now. Them. And you wouldn't know. Actually, I'm going to end the video anyway, so screw it. I don't like you. Have yeah. a long. Uh, stand back a little bit. Now there is no escape for wheelchair man. Did he have a heart attack when I bombed him? Alright, so that's a good way to end the video. I got to bomb Jabba the Hutt. So, uh, I'm going to end the video here. If you want to keep watching, I will be streaming, probably. I'll stream as I'm playing this, because I mean, I've got nothing else to do for the afternoon. And if you want, I have my Twitch is set up, so it automatically records any of my streams. So if you really want to catch up on this, I will. you will be able to find it in my past broadcasts on my Twitch channel. Other than that, thank you for watching. If you really want to try this game out, um, I recommend buying it. It's a great game. The single player, like, it might seem quite slow, and I have to admit it has been kind of slow while I've been playing it, but the multiplayer is well, well, well worth it. And I mean, you get given an additional two keys which you can give to people, and they can give those to someone else, and they can give those to someone else. So it's this whole, like, snowball effect, and by the time you and your friends get to play multiplayer, you should have a huge party, and you should be able to do it. So that's something to keep an eye out for. I'll be streaming that tonight, and I more like more than likely will upload the entire of our multiplayer experience onto YouTube because it's such just such a chaotic and fun game. So it's worth picking it up. Unfortunately, it's not on sale anymore. I think it's back up to its full retail price of twenty US dollars. So, yeah. But then again, worth it. It's a good game. If you've got a few friends who you know will play it, and you can give the keys to, do it. It's a great game. So, thank you for watching. If you have enjoyed this video, please like it. It helps feel free to subscribe to me because I upload content kind of regularly and I like to play games and do random stuff and occasionally I play something that's interesting so there's one thing to consider and drop a comment if you really want if there's something you want to know about the game or if you want to know about me or if you want to know about anything or if you just want to criticize me for being a moron and dressing up like a guard and stealing a holy grail and selling a priceless relic to a dude sitting in a restaurant and not actually eating anything then go for it I'm all for berating and yeah, yeah. Negative attention is still attention. I like it. I'm not going to lie. So anyway, thank you for watching. And I'll see you next time, people.